Okay, I feel like I have to explain a little bit more about the wiring for the USBs, and the power, and everything on the platform. So I'm going to start with the simple fact that everything is connected on the wall. 110 volts goes to one line strip. From there, everything is connected. The PC, the power for the drives, and the power for the peripherals on the platform. Uh, now, uh, you're wondering how I connect the thermos controllers. Uh, this is done by a power USB hub. This is an example of one of these. That's a 3.0 USB hub. Uh, it's connected directly on the back of the computer. On one of the USB 3 ports. Uh, that also has a power supply disconnected on the line strip. Uh, now I connect this uh, uh, the, US, the thumb controllers with a, a USB cable directly on this. So you can see I have, uh, for example, the thumbs for you connected there, so I can switch to these things. And the AMC controller that goes there, one cable, gets power from there. All the rest, it's uh, just the DB25 cables, and uh, the rest is the servo drives, uh, line strip for the servo drives that has a small filter in there. Uh, I use the second filter actually, I use more for the function to, uh, for the power switch to switch on and off the servos. Uh, but all you can see it's up connected on the same spot So I will recommend the powering the controllers directly from the computer because uh, you may have issues like a, a power saving or other things that may go uh, with based on the Windows uh, setup you may have drivers or power settings uh, I recommend the USB hub with power. You can uh, see this as a 5 volt power supply actually. Okay. Um, so I recommend using this instead because uh, it can provide the power regardless of the PC. Even if you turn off the PC, you can switch on the power and you have uh, power for the controllers even without the let me switch this on <laughs> you can have power for the controllers and uh, move manually the servos or whatever you need to do even without uh, the computer being on and uh, that's about it. Then just make sure there is a uh, good uh, distance between wiring. Uh, the servo wiring, even if it's sealed it, it's best to keep it uh, run differently away from other uh, small power devices. That's the servo cables. They all go together. In places low, away from low power cables. I have the platform cables, the cockpit, it's all USB devices, peripherals, all go away from the servers as possible. And then uh, make sure the power for that it keeps as much as way so it won't interfere with possibly AMI. Okay, and uh, that's about it. Uh, if you have space, I recommend just leave the wiring a little loose, like this. Or uh, if you want to attack it away, make sure you don't put cables parallel, but cross it like this, if you can do otherwise. If you put them in parallel, there's possibility they induct some noise into the low power cables.
And uh, yeah, uh, always uh, you can always uh, move around a few cables if you have any issues, just to uh, try to find the source of the problem. Uh, for example, uh, I had some issues with the steering wheel, but that was uh, because it's touching and it didn't have uh, good grounding, so I had to separate, put the ground to go a different path, it's away from the servo drives. That's why I have different power supply. It goes all the way up there. Anyway, uh, I could keep going on explaining all this all day. But uh, indeed, uh, if you have any problems with EMI or noise or uh, connections loss, you should try to just uh, do a little uh, cable management. It uh, should be okay. Thanks for watching.